Hey everyone, out in Fantasy Football Nation, this is Sean McConnell for the World Cup now bringing you coverage for your Barclays Fantasy Premier League. Just bringing you some tips and uh, one thing that I've been working on in this international break, it's only been uh, three days of the long two weeks off of fantasy football. I'm going through some stats, just uh, what I have here is an Excel sheet of uh, basically goal, di goal differentials and uh, clean sheets for each team uh, just some stats that I picked up and then I went through and then I did a goal differential score based on goals conceded goals scored and then I went through the next eight games so that way I'll bring you all the way into the new year just kind of rated teams based on their goal differential score and how they matched up to one another so as an example, I'm just going to go back here. If you look at, uh, where's an easy one here? Uh, Stoke Sunderland. So you see here that uh, Stoke has a GDS score of minus 4 and Sunderland, Sunderland has a score of negative 14. When those two play each other, Stoke, obviously here, is going to be given the 10 point advantage. Now, obviously, this is just in terms of goal differential. It is just an extrapolation of statistics. It doesn't mean that Stoke is actually going to be favored to win that game or that they will win that game in terms of uh, 10 points or whatnot. This is just simply a scoring system that I've used to kind of extrapolate. And over the next 10 game weeks going into the new year, uh, as you follow along, so uh, what I did here is you would add up each score of the game week and uh, get a resulted total for the end of the year in terms of, and I just titled it expected form over the next eight weeks and basically at the end this is the reformed table that I can see happening in the new year so starting in the new year uh, January 1st 2014 I will make a post, I will come back to this and I will evaluate uh, where teams are based on where I think they are in terms of here. So moving forward and based on that analysis you can see that uh, the top four teams are City, Liverpool, Arsenal and Chelsea. So you do want to have some coverage from those teams. You can use this as you want. Uh, the If you're looking at uh, the game weeks in terms of home and away the greenish color is home, red is away, so you can see um, you know, that Arsenal are going to have pretty favorable fixtures coming up in the first four game weeks, maybe a little less, but Southampton is going to be a tough challenge, but they're going to be playing them at home. Then they got an easy two, uh, away home, Cardiff and Hull respectively. And then they return home to, uh, to start off a little bit of a hard part, uh, Everton, and then you've got uh, City away and then Chelsea at home. And then to end out the new year, they have West Ham away and then Newcastle away. So, uh, just kind of a little thing. This will be posted up on my website. I just wanted to share this with you so that you guys can use it any way you see fit. And, you know, just wanted to check in because I know I'm not going to be here Thursday and I know I put out the videos Thursday. So, I just wanted to get out a little something extra for you guys on the break. And uh, I will return to the normal video next week previewing game week 12. So enjoy the break. I know I'm having a rough go of it, but uh, you know, got to can't have fantasy football all the time. But uh, all the best, and I'll see you in a week's time.